A U.S. commercial spacecraft departs the space station, more supplies and hardware are delivered to the station, and a moniker for the Artemis One mission's Moonigan. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On June 29th, the Northrop Grumman Cygnus spacecraft left the International Space Station four months after it arrived with about 8,000 pounds of scientific experiments and supplies for the orbiting laboratory. The spacecraft was named after storied NASA mathematician Katherine Johnson, who broke through barriers of gender and race to calculate orbital mechanics for some of the first U.S. human space flights. An uncrewed Russian Progress cargo ship arrived at the space station on July 1st, two days after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The Progress, which was packed with more than 3,600 pounds of food, fuel, and supplies for the Expedition 65 crew, will spend almost five months at the station. The official name of the mannequin launching on our uncrewed Artemis One flight test later this year is Commander Munikin Campos. The name, selected through the public Name the Moonikin contest, is a dedication to Arturo Campos, a key player in bringing Apollo 13 safely back to Earth. Sensors on the Moonikin will capture data that will help NASA protect astronauts on Artemis II, the first mission in more than 50 years that will send humans around the moon. Data from NASA's Ecosystem Spaceborne Thermal Radiometer Experiment on Space Station was used to map the recent extreme heat in the Pacific Northwest. The deep reds in the map illustrate the 120-degree Fahrenheit land surface temperatures recorded on June 25th in Seattle, Washington. All-time temperature records have fallen in multiple cities in the U.S. and Canada during this heat wave, which the National Weather Service called historic and dangerous. On June 30th, we marked International Asteroid Day with a special episode of NASA Science Live featuring experts talking about all things asteroids. You could say that every day is Asteroid Day at NASA, from our missions visiting asteroids in our solar system to finding, tracking, and monitoring them in an effort to protect our planet from potential impact hazards. Asteroids are rocky remnants left over from the early formation of our solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. There are currently more than 1 million known asteroids in our solar system. NASA's latest software catalog is available for free public download. It includes hundreds of programs developed to help explore space that could also be used for applications beneficial to life here on Earth. For more about the software catalog and our technology transfer program, visit technology.nasa.gov. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.